Hey guys, this is called a faucet cartridge. Now, there are many model, different models for these faucet cartridges. They come for tubs, they come for bathroom sinks, they come for kitchen sinks, and all ki kind of styles. Now, I'm gonna show you today how to, I'm gonna do a replacement of mines. When these go bad, you're looking at upwards of 200 plus dollars for replacement. For a professional replacement of these, they can run up to 350 or more. Now, I'm specifically speaking on tubs that come with the shower head and the tub. You gotta go to your house and locate your main water valve and turn that water off. Um, this is my main water valve. And I'm gonna, that's the very first thing I'm gonna do is turn that water off, man. Now that water's off. This is the biggest mistake that can, the easiest and the largest mistake that a plumber can make is to not turn that water off and have all kind of stuff coming loose and splashing and pushing through the pipe. Turn it off and when you're done, you turn it back on. So here I have basically stripped down the entire faucet. I removed the handle, all the mini pieces underneath. Uh, I've gotten it down to the bare pipes so i've already extracted the cartridge that would be a separate video I, i'm not covering how to remove that cartridge but you have to be very careful so you don't damage the pipes um and if your cartridge is stuck you need to call a professional plumber with a special tool to remove that most of them won't be though don't worry you can simply remove it with vice grips when you buy the cartridge it should come with lube so that you can lube up where you're going to put the cartridge. You don't want friction. You don't, you know, you want your cartridge to be smoothly inserted into the pipe area. This makes for a smooth, clean installation. As I insert the cartridge back inside, I am easing the cartridge in following the same way that I removed it in the same position. Notice how I am very gently using the vice grips to simply push the cartridge back into its slot. I am not gripping the tip very hard because I don't want to strip the tip. It's very important that you're very gentle with this process. That's what the loop is for in the first place. Hey, don't forget the fastener. The fastener is this little metal piece right here. And this goes over the top and down into the sides of the actual cartridge. This does not go over the entire pipe. It goes inside. You you should look. You will see where the insertion is belongs, and it will insert there. It can be a little painful to get that done. It can be annoying if you can't find the holes or where it will go. But I'll tell you this much: if you forget it. It makes for a very bad day and possibly another hundred and something dollars back to your plumber. So voila, you're essentially done. The job is pretty much that simple and that quick. You've replaced the actual cartridge and that's pretty much um, from here on out. All we need to do is assemble back the faucet and the handle. And once the handle and the faucet is assembled properly, then we'll be finished with our operation. Now for another important thing, testing. As you can see, I have assembled the faucet partially back and I can test to whether or not turning it produces the intended effect of the water coming on and off as expected. One more time on the speed cam to see how I assembled the faucet head for testing. So testing has been completed so we know our cartridge to pipe installation has been a success and now we have finalized our assembly by placing the back piece back press plush with the wall and installing the faucet on top of that. This will complete our installation. And there you have it. And in less than 30 minutes, man, you can fix your faucet and save your money. Thanks for watching.